Hola a todos. Welcome back. Hopefully you're back. Hopefully you watched the first couple of videos. All right, now we were talking about doing the alphabet. Let's work on that, shall we? All right, here we are. Okay. Let me scoot me down. Okay, so the Spanish alphabet is almost the same as that of English. Almost the same. Okay, there's a few extra letters and sounds. The names of some are different. Some names of some of the letters are different. The sounds can be a little bit different. Um, and then the thing that makes it really difficult is that there's different accents in Spanish. Like how there's a British accent, and American accent, and Australian accent in English. <sighs> there's many more different accents in Spanish because there's many more countries that speak it as their, as their um, indigenous language. Not as indigenous, but as their like, native. Not native, but uh, official language. There you go. So like uh, Mexico has a different accent, Guatemala has a different accent, Spain has a different accent, Argentina, my God, it's horrible to understand for me. Peru, easy to understand. Okay. Um, anyway, we're going to work on that now. Okay. So I studied in the U.S. I studied in Guatemala. That's Latin America, what we call Latinos. And so I'm going to introduce the Latino Spanish alphabet, which is usually like this. Okay. Put me down there. Okay, um, but then we're gonna look at the Spain um, alphabet later. Okay, so, A, A, B, B, C, 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 D, D, E, E, F, F, H, 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 I, I, J, J, K, K, L, L, E, E, E. M A M A N A N A N A N A O O P P Q Q R A R A R A R A S A S A T T U U V V W W X X Y Y Z Z Z Okay, so as you see, a lot of these are pretty similar to the ones in English. Now these are the ones going to be a little bit harder. A B C D J D E F A. Okay, Ache. So this is Ache, the H. Okay, Ache. In Spanish, the H's do not have a sound; they are silent. This is like going back to Ola. I spelled um, H O L A. The H does not have a sound, so it's just pronounced Ola, not Hola. Okay. Okay. Other ones are gonna be hard. The J's, J, they are H's in Spanish. They sound like H's. Okay, you say <laughs> like um, San Jose. If you guys know the city in the U.S. or Jalapeno. Okay, so the J's sound like H's. Right. -A -A. So if it's one L, the La, la, la. Like in English. If it's two L's, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, okay, like a Y sound. M A, we know. N A, same, same as in English. This one here. This is called a tilde. This is what we call a tilde, this little squeaky line that's over the N. Okay? Only Spanish, I think, has this. 
Okay, so it's very, very um, symbolic for Spanish language. So this one makes this n sound into a ña, 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 like an N and a Y together. Okay, ña. All right, O is okay, P is okay, Q, kind of similar to Spanish. This is an R sound, r, r, r. Now, when you have two R's together, it's what's called rolled. It's a row or trill R, which is you go from saying rar, rar to rar. So you kind of roll your tongue. Very, very difficult for a lot of people, especially Chinese students. I've only known maybe two or three people who could do this. And two of them were my professors at my university that were Chinese and I taught Spanish in the US. That's a fun story. So, okay, very hard to do. It's okay if you cannot do it. You can just say like a no more R. Right. Okay. S A is okay. T is okay. U, V, 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 V. Now the V and the B sound in Spanish are very close together. Okay, you'll see this later when we start doing some work, some stuff in the book. Okay. So vaca, vaca, it sounds very, it's kind of like a sound in between b and v. Okay, so it's a lot of times you will not be able to understand if it's a v or if it's a v, and people, Spanish speakers, will not know, understand if it's a b or a v either. They sound very, very similar, almost the same. All right, this one, the w, it can be called so many things. Some people like to call it w, I call it w, some people call it Ve doble, some people call it doble u or u doble, some people call it ve uve, so this is doble uve or uve doble. It's confusing. Don't worry about it too much because the only time you will see w used is on words that come from another language, like whiskey in, in uh, English or Wisconsin. Okay, stuff like that. That's why the only time you'll see a w. Here, a geese. You don't see that a lot either. You see like with stuff with taxi, okay? This Y usually it has a Y sound, like, or if it's just by itself, it'll have E, okay? Zeta, Z, -z, -z like in English. But now the Spanish speakers will say th, 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 okay? That's just the Spain accent. Most people in Spain speak it like that. Um, okay, cool. So, Watch this again a couple times if you need to. Um, and now we're going to go on to the Spain alphabet. Okay. All right. So this is the one that's in the book, the PDF and everything, because the book comes from Spain. Okay. So it's a Spain Spanish book. So it's, it's a Spain Spanish book. So I'm just going to use the Spain accent. Okay. And then here's the phonetic script. If you guys can read that. So once again, the C, the C, we'll sometimes say K, and sometimes say Th, all right? Cosa, Carmen, Carlos, and sometimes say Th. Or in, in the Latin America, they'll just say S. So in Latin America, we say Sina, Sin, Cecilia, Cesar, but in Spain, Spanish, they Thin, Cecilia, Cesar, stuff like that. Okay. D, D. Dia, eh, esto, Eva, Emilio, eh, 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 F, 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 Finn, so on and so forth. All right, you have this on your audio, which is right here, this audio. I think that's number two. If not, check with your book. And um, just listen to that a couple times. Um, so Spanish has five vowels. Listen to the audio and repeat. Yeah, okay, so try that. And then here you're supposed to write down a um, Chinese word that uses that sound. Okay, oi, oricio, okay, cool. Uh, the reason why I like this alphabet that I showed you earlier, because it's because I have these double um, letter words. So like the CH for che, the double L for ye, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double R for L. Um, this one here doesn't have that. So here they want you to um, talk about the sound, which of course is this chocolate, this is China. 
they're about the same in Spanish. Chocolate is chocolate, chocolate. China is China. Okay. So the I will sound more like E. And the E is actually more E. Esto, Eva, Emilio. The E, the I was sound more like E. Ear, Ines, Ignacio. All right. Okay. Work on that song. Uh, okay. And uh, this part here, uh, also this is the audio. It's audio number three. So you can just pause this video, work on this in your workbook, work on that. All right. And this is audio number four. Listen to the audio, complete the table with the letters. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and read these. So this audio will be in the Spain accent. Okay. K, th, b, and this is also y. Yeah. All right. But I mostly have a Latin accent, a Latino accent. All right. So for me, this is cosa, llamas, cena, vino, luma, kilo, ya, quien, bien, casa, zona, que, cien, cuantos. But in Spain, accent is going to be cosa, llamas, cena, vino, lumo, kilo, ya, quien, bien. Casa, zona, que, cien, cuantos. That's what it's going to be like with the Spanish accent. Um, so work on that. It's on, uh, this is, comes from page nine in the workbook. And then here are your audios, number three, number four. Okay. So if you haven't noticed yet, Spanish and Chinese have some different sounds, okay? So once again, here's a nice little audio for you guys to listen to. Number five, talking about when the th in Spain Spanish, okay? So you have th, the, fi, so, cena, nya, nya, this is this phonetic symbol. Anya, enya, nya, oño, espanol, espanol. In Latin American, we say espanol, but in Spain Spanish, we say espanol. So then you have your er. Well, this one's r, er. Are, 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 ro. This is perro. Okay. This one's perro. Perro, 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 perro. I can't even do this very well myself because it's very different. It's a little bit difficult. And so whenever I say it, I say it too long. Native speakers, like you from Colombia or from Spain or whatever, they will say much shorter than me. So, perro, roll your R, perro. This one means dog, this one means butt, like dancha. This should you could Egypt go, you could go, this is dancha in Chinese. All right. So, this one here, um, read this part, listen to the audio and pay attention to different sounds. So the sounds um, for the letters um, P, T, and K can be pretty confusing, okay? With the letters for B as well as V, D, and G. All right, so they want you guys to pay attention to that. Honestly, you're not gonna have too much trouble with this. You guys speak good enough English. I think we'll be okay. So then just say Appa and Papa. Ata, Ada, Aka, Aga. Okay. Pito, Pido. Tias, Dias. That's be pretty easy for y'all. Pasos, Pasos. Or Pasos, Pasos. B and V are very similar. So careful with that. Anyway, check out that audio and listen to the difference. That's audio number six. Okay. So pause this video and check that out. All right, another one with uh, another audio. So this one's number seven. Okay, and mark what you hear. Okay, so that previous one is to have you get ready for that is saying which one's boda and which one's poda. All right, so this is this audio, complete this one. This is also on page nine. All right, so do that, pause this video, go do that.
Also, whenever we start doing online classes, I will ask you to send me pictures of your book or pictures of your the activities to make sure that you're doing those right. And that will be your participation grade, part of it. All right, I think I'm gonna stop here because this is something a little bit different. All right, so that was the first part of the alphabet. There's a little bit more technical stuff, but we'll go ahead and start and stop there for this one. Come back next time.